Hi everybody. Um, let's go over this VFW National Home for Children script. This is your documentary script sample. Um, so let's take a look at this so you kind of know what you're doing this week. Um, this is a video that I created for the VFW National Home for Children. Um, it's like a six minute promotional documentary. Um, what you're doing this week is very similar. It's a promotional documentary that you're doing, meaning it's documentary style, which is sound bites, um, VO, and the visual images. So it's like a package, but it's much longer. And it's different in that it's not news. It's um, something that you're trying to tell a story, or maybe you're trying to convince something, someone of something. In this case, I've done a lot of these promotional videos for nonprofits. They like to do documentary style promotional videos to show what they're doing. You are not necessarily trying to sell anything. You're not asking for money. It's nothing like that. You're just telling a story about um, the organization, something that happened at the organization to promote the organization. So you're doing yours on Focus Hope this week. Um, so it's a very similar style. So let's just go over this. Um, it's going to be, you know, format-wise, very similar to what you did last week with the package. It's just a much longer story, so it's much more developed. So um, this is a story about a man named Tyler Peak. He's a father of some children, and he uh, went through um, some custody battles for his children, and he ended up really down on his luck, couldn't support his uh, the children, and the VFW National Home for Children is an organization. It's a big campus south of Lansing with a bunch of really beautiful homes and a community center, and people can go live there for up to four years, and while they're there, all their bills are paid, they're provided housing, and then the parent or parents are, they get counseling, they get they can go to college and they'll pay for it and they basically kind of try to get you back on your feet but you have to have you have to be a veteran or you have to be related to a veteran in terms of being like um, some close connection and I don't know all the rules but this man Tyler it was his father-in-law who was the veteran even though he was no longer married to the the, da the daughter of this thing. so anyway that's the background of this story so I'm gonna start out with um, what is the most powerful part of the story. I do my interview and I look at my sound bites and I look and think, okay, which are my best sound bites? What do I want to tell the story? So I start out with what he said. People were tossing options at me, like giving up one of the kids for adoption. I didn't want to have anything to do with that. In other words, people were suggesting he give up his kids for adoption. And so I think that's a pretty powerful statement. So I wanted to start with that. This is just a headshot of Tyler Peake. When you start out with a sound bite, you do not have to super them right off the bat, the lower third. Do that later, okay, because right now you're just trying to grab people's attention. So this is my lead. And then this is the daughter of this man, and she's saying he wouldn't miss visits or anything. He put up a huge fight to get all of us. So that was very, this was very emotional, these interviews with these, uh, this is the father and then the two children. Then the boy says, my daddy put other people before himself. And he serves us before he serves him, and he puts family first no matter what. So three really powerful sound bites that really grab the attention. And I have the video on YouTube. So you can, um, I, you're probably hearing my daughter in the background. She's uh, physically and mentally handicapped, and she's singing to one of her programs. So I moved into another, another room, but you probably can hear a little bit of it. So anyway, these were the three interviews that we did for this. So then I like to use Nat Sound Bridges. Nat sound bridges are when you have Nat sound and all you hear in this segment is the Nat sound. Uh, and this is a Nat sound of a ball hitting glove or a basket going in. So I know I'm going to have a shot here of either um, them playing basketball or playing catch, the father and the son and the girl. Uh, I got the father and the son playing catch and then I got the three of them playing basketball. Okay, then I'm going to start with the voiceover. Um, when Tyler Peake ranks his priorities in life, fatherhood has always come out on top. So I'm setting the stage that he's a great dad, 
and he wasn't going to have anything to do with giving his kids up for adoption. And I have a medium shot of Tyler with the kids on the couch, and this was a one-day shoot, and we just went there, and I had to come up with the shots. It's not like anyone, this, it's not news in that the shots are already there, like a crime scene or this or that. You kind of have to create how you're going to show it. So I had them sitting together on a couch. So that's the shot I'm going to use to cover this. Okay, and then the son, I would describe him as amazing, overwhelming. That's it. The daughter, he's an awesome guy. So again, they're talking about how great their dad is. So now I'm going to, now I'm going to tell the story of why, what happened with these, this family. Um, so the daughter here was crying during part of this interview. So I'm going to um, start my voice off re referring to this. Taylor's tears display a love for a man who fought unceasingly for the right to raise his two children who were living in unsafe situations. He endured three and a half years. So anyway, I'm telling the story. Now I'm going to tell the story of how it works out. Uh, I'm going to show a close-up of Taylor crying. And um, in this particular case, this father provided me with a bunch of still shots. This is not always the case. And I'm going to tell you right now, for your video that you're working on this week, you will not have any still shots, so don't put still shots in there. Okay, I the story you're working on this week is one that I did, and this was a man that had no pictures, no past history that he wanted to talk about, so I didn't have it, and you're not going to have it. This In this case, I did have it. So, um, so anyway, you can't do this for yours is what I'm telling you, okay? Okay. Um, all right, so I'm telling the story, and now here's the dad again. It was a relief because the kids were safe. So he, let me go back up here. Um, a few years later, he found himself in another legal conflict for his son, Jylan, whose mother in the end proved unfit due to drug use. So then he says, it was a relief because the kids were safe, and that's what I was worried about most. So um, he had the kids. He finally won the kids from the custody battles, but now he has a big problem. Now bankrupt from all the legal fees, Tyler faced the challenge of providing for his hard-won family, working only a low-wage warehouse job and living in a tiny garage apartment. So here is a shot that we staged. Obviously, we weren't there when this was all happening. This was four years prior, so I had to come up with a way. How am I going to cover this um, audio, what kind of B-roll am I going to use? Because I'm, we're just there for one day at this VFW National Home. They're there. We're interviewing them. i got to come up with shots to cover all this VO. So I need to show Tyler being distressed. So we had him inside one of the houses stand and look out the window looking stressed. We staged this shot and then in editing and post we put a black and white effect on it as if it's a flashback. You've seen this effect, okay? So that's what we did. And normally, in the package, I was telling you to sh change your shots every two to three seconds or change it on punctuation. For this, I'm going to leave the shot the whole time because I'm explaining what's going on here, and I'm just going to use this one shot of him looking totally stressed. And if you look in the video that I posted on YouTube of this story, you'll see that. Okay, and then the dad again, it was hard. There was a lot of days where I'd have to break down, you know. I didn't have the support I needed to raise three kids. Here's two separate sound bites. See how I have a space in between? That means that in the interview that I shot, this was not right next to each other. I plucked this little piece and I plucked this piece and then I put them together. So um, I'm using the same, see I have a close-up of the of the looking stress and now I'm doing a medium shot. So I got we got a couple different shots here. So we're gonna cut from this close up to the medium shot. It's gonna be the same thing. Looking stressed um, out the window. So we're not seeing any headshot of Tyler. We're gonna cover this completely with these two shots. Okay, uh, now I'm changing my music bed and I'm trying to think did I have the music bed here? Uh, you know what I don't have my music bed in here but I did have one and it was a melancholy sad one right there. Um, let's see, go back to where I am. So now my music bed is changing because now things are going to start getting happier because they got some help. Okay, back to voiceover. Help, so they were in a big trouble. This family was in big trouble. 
Help came through an unlikely candidate. Tyler's ex-father-in-law had served faithfully in Vietnam. He served His service qualified the desperate family for help from a place designed just for situations like this. The VFW National Home for Children rests peacefully among rolling hills south of Lansing, Michigan. And so now I'm just telling a little bit, bit about it. Since 1925, it has existed to come along Side servicemen, their widows, children, and direct descendants who face hardship due to the effects of war or circumstances in life. So I introduce the VFW National Home. I tell a little bit about it. And here, uh, this family would not provide us any photos of the father-in-law because as you can see he was an ex-father-in-law. So uh, we couldn't get a shot of the father-in-law, which is a bummer if you can't. So we just use stock Vietnam photos, just a couple. And then we had some beautiful shots of the campus. So we have a VFW drone shot. We had a wide shot of the sign in the buildings. A still photo of the VFW home from the past because we're talking about since 1925. So we want to show what it looked like then. And a still photo of family at the home from the past. So we used two old photos that they had for this. Okay, now we're using a representative from the home. And she tells us what they do for people. They receive free housing, free daycare, educational support, and any other type of additional support the family might need. And we do super her right here. We only use her one time. And we do put her super there. Okay. And we go to another VO. As a living memorial to honor and support those who fought for our country, the campus includes 44. So I'm still telling about the home. Okay. I'm telling all about the home. Everything about it. And I'm showing shots about it. I'm showing shots of the homes when I'm talking about the homes. Here's a pan shot of homes. Here's a one home, I suppose, a close-up. We're talking about the people get a life coach. So now I have a shot of a life coach and a client. And another, and this is like a, um, this is a sequence, meaning it's the same subjects. This is a two-shot, and then this goes to a close Close up, I think it's an over the shoulder shot. This is my actual script that I used, um, not just a sample. So I have an editor and he knows a lot of things, so I didn't have to put some of the little specifics that you guys have to. So this would be a close up over the shoulder of the life, life coaching client talking. So I'm trying to, whatever I'm talking about here, I'm trying to show right here. Okay, now we're going back to Tyler. And he's saying to have all that was offered by the home was so relaxing to have that weight off my shoulders so I could go focus on them now and my education and my work. And now we're showing them Tyler and the kids sitting on the porch of a house together and over the shoulder showing the kids smiling at their dad while on the porch. So there's a sequence, meaning it's the same scene, different shots from the same scene. Again, this is a shot that we staged. I had them sit on the porch. I said, talk amongst yourselves, and we got our shots. Okay, so now I'm going on to complete, can tell the story. Um, you know, we set up the problem. We set up that there was an answer. We told about the answer to the VFW home. Now we're going to tell how things, so these, this family lived there four years. We're going to say how things uh, per, uh progressed for this family. So once settled in their own home on campus, Tyler began to pursue his education, earning an associate's degree at Lansing Community College. At the same time, his children were finally free to just be kids. I'm showing Tyler and kids around the dinner table. So we ordered a lunch carryout and we set them around the table as if they were having a real dinner. Tyler had his degrees there, so we got a close-up of his degree. We had the boy go outside and ride his bike the way he used to when he lived there. They had only been moved out of the house for a little while. So they, the kids were still not that much older. So we got that and we did like a rolling shot. We drove in the van in front and he rode the bike behind us and got a cool shot of that. Uh, then we have the boy and he's talking about how fun it was to live there. Um, then we talk about the girl. She got this award while she was there and we show a still photo of her getting the award and then um, Tyler the father is telling more about what it was like people here help you like they don't try to pick apart everything in your life like they actually try to help you and then I use another Nat Sound bridge here where they're playing baseball and I sh and, and I have a, um, the Nat Sound of them catching and throwing the ball you'll see it in the video 
Okay, and then Tyler's saying how he felt, they felt safe there. Um, and now I'm going into how other people can come to this place. Okay, we, we've seen the story about how this family, how can other people do it? The VFW National Home allows qualifying families to live up to four years, um, blah, 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 tells all about it. Um, I have more video. And then he continues to tell how great the family's doing. And now they talking now that they left the home in 2012 um, and they're still doing really well. Um, more video, another Nat Sound Bridge. Now this is kind of talking about how the kit they're doing now. So we're showing that the family has sustained being healthy and strong, emotionally healthy and strong. Um, another Nat Sound Bridge. And I just keep telling the story. Again, here's two video, two sound bites, but together that weren't together in the interview, but I put them together and then I covered them with video. Just this, I cover the first part just to cover the edit. Um, so anyway, you can read the rest and see how I tell the story. So essentially, you're just telling a story, um, and you're using the sound bites, but it's more developed. So then at the end, um, I'm just giving the wrap up. I'm not asking people to give a certain amount of money or anything. I just say it very um, briefly. If you are a veteran and suffering from the effects of war, if you are the descendant of a veteran or a VFW and women's auxiliary looking for a new start for your family, call the VFW Children's Home. Here's the number. Or to help give our brave servicemen a helping hand and give their family a happy childhood, donate. Here's the website. The VFW received no federal funding, and then I'm giving the logo, the website, and the phone number to go with this. Okay? So um, that is it. Uh, basically, you're telling a really heartfelt story is what you want to do. You're trying to get people's heartstrings on this. So they um, want to support the organization, or maybe they need the organization. It can be usually the organ these companies. Um, organizations they post this on their website I, this used to be on the vfw's website i don't know if it still is i think tyler ended up having some more problems and i think they took it off their website but there's some other ones on there that we did but anyway um so that's how they use it and sometimes they use it other ways to promote themselves so that is the purpose of the video um that is it and i hope that is clear okay Thanks.